37. The Family. The decision the proper relationships within a family are examples of the kind of order that should exist in the community, the state, and society as a whole. The family is the basic organizational unit that combines to form other social organizations, and when the family functions properly, the other social units shall function properly also. Each family exists as a unit and the members of the family relate to one another in a manner that promotes their mutual stability and endurance. The well-being of the entire family is a matter of concern to each member, and the pursuits of each member are a concern of the whole family. The role of each member is based on affection, yet this affection manifests itself in different ways depending upon the given role. The family is organized around the authority of the parents, of which the father, as head of the family provides strong leadership and moral correctness, and the mother as devoted and loyal subordinate holds the family together while ministering to their collective and individual needs. Without the strong moral leadership of the father, the different roles of the members are not sharply drawn and their duties to one another are not made clear. Without the mother nurturing to the needs of each member, each one would drift apart and develop independently. Thus, the relationship between the husband and the wife is the central organizational principle of the entire family. The son as junior member relates to the father with love and respect. The younger and the older brothers relate to one another with affectionate concern and loyalty. These relationships have their counterpart in larger social units, with the principle of strong leadership at the head, devoted subordinates as ministers, and members who give respect and deference to those of superior rank in the community, and who give support to one another with affection and loyalty. It is through these inner relationships that the moral duties that human beings owe one another are facilitated and order is maintained. The relationships of the family, therefore, are the fundamental relationships of all mankind, and are necessary to keep the world in order. The maxim a man's words have influence on others, when they proceed directly from his inner being. Words gain their power from their relationship, to what is specific and real. Generalities and theories have little influence, because they lack the means to apply the pronouncements to real-life situations. A man's words must be reinforced by his actions, otherwise they can only be seen as experimental thoughts, that may or may not be valid. Pronouncements require the force of the speaker's action, in order to make a real impression on others. Only when a listener is fully aware of the correspondence between a man's words and his deeds will his words have real meaning to him.